Welcome to the sixth session in our series of videos on how to critically appraise a randomized controlled trial following the CASP checklist. In this session, we'll answer the sixth question. Apart from the experimental intervention, did each study group receive the same level of care? In other words, were they treated equally? The first point we're asked to consider is whether there was a clearly defined study protocol. A study protocol sets out before the beginning of a trial a plan of action which covers the question it aims to answer as well as how data will be gathered and analysed. The authors mention under the study design section that the protocol was approved by the institutional review board of each medical institution involved in the trial. However, there is no indication of where it can be found, whether it has been published and it hasn't been added at the end of the article as an appendix. We are then asked to consider if any additional interventions were given, whether they were similar between the study groups, and whether the follow-up intervals were the same for both groups. These are important points to be taken into account because if the two groups are not equally treated, how can we be sure that the results are solely due to the treatment being studied? This information can be found in the study design section. The only additional intervention was tapering, which was introduced to avoid any symptom that might result from discontinuing the log setting. The last step asks whether the follow-up intervals are identical in both groups. There seems to be some conflicting information. The authors write that after the tapering week, patients entered either the long-term extension study or the one-week follow-up phase whereas the study phases only mention a one-week follow-up. There is no further mention of the long-term extension study, and follow-up is only mentioned again in connection with the safety outcomes. So it is a bit unclear what happened after week 15. So what should we answer to the sixth question? There is no additional intervention given to either group, but we don't have access to the study protocol and there are some uncertainties regarding any follow-up to the 15th week after tapering, so we might want to choose no or can't tell. On the other hand, all the data provided, except for safety, was collected prior to any follow-up, so we might want to choose yes since each study group received the same level of care up to week 15 when patients underwent tapering. 